Hello Leo and welcome to your May reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that I have is two cards and it is the star and the um, hermit. So right away we're starting with two big uh, major arcanas. The hermit is all about uh, listening to our truth, to our uh, wisdom, to uh, the balance between the invisible and the visible, the feminine and the masculine here in the six-pointed star. It's the inner light, the sixth Tiferet, uh, the heart chakra, being guided by that in our daily life, in our sixth house, okay, Virgo. And the star, which is our aspiration, which is our true soul's alignment. So here, there's these two cards represent a beautiful insight that, that tells me that if you go inside, you can really receive and hear your soul. Now, how do I bring that into my daily life? Uh, the second card is the Four of Pentacles. So we can see that uh, these two energies are not completely embodied here with the Four of Pentacles. There's fear here. There's holding on to certain things. The, the star, she's the water, water barrier, bearer, not barrier, <laughs> but bearer. And you see how she's pouring the water away. She doesn't need to, she doesn't even have clothes. She doesn't need to hold on to anything because she knows she's aligned and she'll be infinitely provided for, which is a completely different energy than the Four of Pentacles. And then after we have the Six of Wands, which is all about uh, reaching the Six again, okay, the Heart Chakra. Uh, all about, I have nothing to prove now anymore. I can come back from difficult periods. My fire, my will is aligned. I'm coming home. I'm not in conflict. I'm not on the defensive. I'm just uh, in harmony with... Uh, outside of me. The energies, the directions are in harmony. Under the star and the hermit, there we have the king of wands, you, the emperor, and the five of cups. So that is one of the reasons maybe uh, your four of pentacles is there. It's that five of cups. And that's why here the star, in that moment of alignment and faith, we are ready to let go of our story, of our old pains, of all of this. Or holding on to them and looking at them. Of course, here they're saying this is centered and will actually affect your willpower, your king of wands, of this is where I want to go. Your emperor, your divine masculine is affected by that inner sadness here. And here, we have the Queen of Wands. So, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. There you are, your two aspects. Feminine, masculine, again. With that, uh, that I was talking about with the six-pointed star that is in his uh, lamp. And she's the Love Attraction. And she is attracting Three of Cups in the air. So, there's... Your divine feminine that wants to attract Venus probably right now. Attracting joy, peace, serenity within you is in direct conflict with what you hold on to as your sadness and, and the five of cups. That's why under the four of pentacles, we have a little page of cup here to readjust this, to bring uh, the cups into a six. Five plus one, six. And here under that, we have a hangman, we have a nine of sword, and we have strength. So 
what it's saying is that things were hanging as long as, especially with the nine of sword here, as long as there was anxiety, uh, this was like oppressing your mind, you were holding on to it, uh, blocking yourself uh, because of that, because of the sadness you've went through, rising above it in the strength card, at Leo again, okay? But it's that principle of rising into our higher self, the higher version of the emperor and the empress, of the pope and the high priestess, our higher self in this physical world, connecting with, with our soul that is right here, right at the beginning, actually allows you and will allow you to release this because you will look at that from a completely different angle, hangman. There's an illumination, there's an understanding that is coming. Under the six of wands, we have those two sevens. Seven of wands, seven of sword. And this is pretty much the result, the pattern result of how your masculine was affected because of that deep sadness that can come from a very long time ago, but that is right here. By readjusting, and, and you know what? I've went through this. I won't let that rule the way that I function anymore. I will not let that influence my way of thinking, disempowering me and putting me always on the guard and defensiveness. Okay? Seven, seven. These are unmastered uh, sevens in the sense of... Um, the seven is, is a uh, master number because um, this is when we have to rise above the animalistic side. And here these are reactionary go-to uh, um, attitude, behaviorism. Be on the defensive and be disempowering mentally, whether for us or others. But there's like this extreme strategy in order to win uh, from our ego to prove that what we're holding on to is right or uh, from others outside of us. It's always inside, outside. So, of course, swords and wands are the masculine elements. That's why we have the emperor here. So, a little water here, a little letting go and new water and really listening to your soul will dismantle this pattern. And here I have the nine of wands where this can change because this is very unconscious. Nine of sword, nine of wands. The nine of wands, when we're like this, of course we're on our guard. And we're even isolating ourselves because we keep in mind Every time we were hurt, we still have the bandana on our head here, okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> and then once we kind of master this, once we understand what it was all about, then these nine ones can become experience. And then they become a strength. Then we can finish what we have to do and start again. So I'm going to clarify this. Uh, here, bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Sword. So Two of Sword, right away, that tells us that this will bring you an understanding where you're going to have to make a decision about what is my truth. Is my truth those five cups on the floor that I am hanging on to that made me make me give uh, this reactionary reaction to life and all of this or not? Do I have nothing to prove and work in harmony with the world or do I have to fight against it, strategize against it or vice versa, of course. So 
let's see I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit I call upon <laughs> the clarifying of this reading. Okay. Help me clarify this reading for Leo for the month of May 2022. Leo's for the month of May 2022. Okay, show me the hermit and the star. Right away it's for your manifestation. So that it can be more as above, so below. So that your four elements are more balanced. And I guess that there's that ace of cup here. Ace of cup to balance your five of cups. In order to... Uh, if you flush out the sadness, there's no empty space. If you flush out your sadness, it's going to be filled up with new water. This is what it's saying. And inside of you, you know that. And if you align with your soul, you know that. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, by holding on to, you know, the beliefs that, and the, the things that uh, coop you more into, you know, like a karma here with the devil, okay? Like holding on to uh, enslaving um, ways of thinking, okay? Uh, this world is hell. You've got to protect yourself and and fight and so on. And here is another seven, seven of cups. I I've been hurt. Now I'm seeing it outside of me, even if it's not there. And I'm protecting myself against it. I'll even strategize against it, or I feel like I have absolutely no power over it. That's your devil. So as long as you hang on to the sadness. The, the two other elements here, the swords and the, the wands, are affected by it. Your emperor is affected by it. Six of wands. That means how you act out there is affected by it. And so here we have a ten of wands. So finishing the cycle of wands with your six of wands. It's going to be balanced once... You release it. Eight of Wands, Six of Cup. Because, see, that five plus one equals six. Then when it comes to what you want to manifest, and of course it's going to open up a brand new uh, path in front of you. But here we can see that there's a beautiful readjustment of Wands. That are going, your willpower will be more aligned with your heart chakra, with uh, pure, purified waters. You know, for a compass, the the stick has to be floating on waters, and the water has to be pure for it to show the true north. So, in that sense, it's the way we bring our will, our direction, where we're aiming. All of this will be more aligned if we have pure water within ourselves. So let's look at the King of Wands. Ah. Tree of Pentacle. And here I have the seven, again, the seven of ones so when it came to 
what you wanted to create, to build, and all of that, there was this extra energy that had to be put there because there was a completely lack of trust or even seven of swords and sometimes if you find yourself you know sabotaging or procrastinating or all of that in a way uh, this the lack of water wasn't helping okay so and here i have the three of ones so three of pentacle three of ones this is more like i'm not expecting this i'm expecting boats to come in towards me but when i'm expecting this as i'm building that's what i'm creating you create what you expect you create what you believe even if it's not what you want uh, Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups. Judgment. So your Divine Feminine calling in for joy actually brought in the angel with his trumpet to bring up to the surface every part of you that are not resonating with joy, peace, grace, uh, celebration of life ultimately to make that decision of what am I what is my truth very throat chakra here what is my truth page of cups page of cups They flip and they turn around. Page, okay. Four of Wands. Yes, because, and, and that's a good example here. But first we have the tower. So the moment you take that self-love, how you were trying to build will not stand anymore. Uh, after the devil comes the tower. Not numer in, uh, in its uh, numeric uh, value. Oh, well, yes, in its numeric value also. Uh, but in the stages of enlightenment, first you have to see your devil. Because if not, you're just going to La La Land. Then once you see your devil, once you see where you lose your energy, where you you uh, hold your chains or, or all of that, then that has to crumble. And then, of course, since you will be following Hermit, your inner light, you will not be conflicted anymore. Your energy will not go all over the place. Everything will come to the surface. Let's see here. Amen. Ah. So instead of holding on to things and being on the defensive, you will let it go. You will use that will of yours, guided by your hermit, to turn the page and let it go. And that is because you're going to look at this, that it was not a fact of life. But it was just something that happened. And it does not predetermine uh, what you can do, what you can build, what you can experiment here. And what reality has to be all about. Seven of swords, seven of wands. Two of sword of course there's your decision do i trust or do i have to be in this state of being because i'm i feel completely disempowered with what is in front of me or do i trust because now i see because now i'm allowing this 
this water within myself filled with possibilities? Do I still give power to this guy that taught me how to act like this? That's a karma. And we have to remember that it doesn't show very well in this depiction because it's artistically uh, worked without always knowing what the, uh, the symbols mean. But in the right awake, he is, st he is standing on half a cube. And that is important because half a cube is half knowledge. The devil is not sitting on full knowledge. He's only sitting on half knowledge. And from its half knowledge, it tells you that that's all that there is. So, nine of wands. Show me the nine of wands. So, you will not hold on to that half knowledge anymore as if it's the only truth for you. As I'm saying, holding on. But now it's going to be with a Knight of Cups. So we're having that Ace of Cup, that Page of Cup, that Knight of Cup. Uh, and that, of course, brings you Chariot, Eight of Pentacle. Spiritual movement forward. Uh, a new way to invest yourself, a new way to use your sword and your wand, okay? When you look at the three of, uh, of pentacle or the eight of pentacle, you have this guy chiseling away, okay? And in order to chisel, he uses, of course, a chisel and a mallet. So the mallet is the wand and the chisel is the sword. Uh, strategy, mental energy, and willpower. These are masculine energy, okay? Like pentacles and cups are feminine. So, if my mental, masculine mental energy and the way I bring my willpower is on the defensive and, and on the seven of sword, I'm going to have a very hard time carving a reality that will be... Uh, suitable for me, that will look like who I truly am within myself. And that's why you needed that Ace of Cup to kind of undo the devil, undo the distortion, the karma of these two elements. For some of you, it was huge. Others of you, it's more subtle, depending on where you are on your path. But this month, you are actually going to purify, let go of um, distorted waters, pain, wounds. You know, water absorbs everything. It copies every memory in you of everything you've imagined and lived at the same time. You are going to release what is painful in order to allow some new water in, and this is what is going to kick your devil out. So I'm going to call this kick the devil out because this is what you're going to do. Uh, and in a way, you're readjusting your masculine when it comes to that. Uh, when it came to what he rules, uh, in a sense, he rules the 10th house, Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn rules the 10th house of ambition, the divine masculine. Well, he can be beautiful in his discipline, focus, and, and so on, mastery of this world, uh, or he can be completely distorted if he brings you pain and, and things like that. So it's for you to look at that. All right? So... On this, my beautiful Leos, I'm sending you all my love and light. And thank you for watching, commenting, subscribe, please, to help grow the channel. Uh, if you want a private reading, the description is below. There's an email. You write to me. I write to you back. I will never write a phone number on the comments. 
uh, section. If you see this, it's a con artist. It's not me. Um, so also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. On the new moon, I do my little ceremony to give you back. And this month, it's on the 30th first. So, you know, you're right now. And the next one, this one is in Taurus. And the next one at the end of the month will be in Gemini. So, um, in a way, it's, it's a new moon and an eclipse at the same time. So, what was hidden uh, uh, will become pretty much obvious. Uh, and Taurus is all about being comfortable, being abundant, feeling safe here. So I think um, that for everybody this month, what is not aligned with this uh, will come up for you to address it. So on that, my beautiful Leos, all my love and light and I'll see you next month.